Man, plants don't use green light. Yes, they do. Do you think plants have evolved under the sun over millions of years to not utilize green light in some way? Then why are so many grow lights red and blue? Well, there are many reasons for that, but that doesn't mean that plants don't use other wavelengths, at least in part. Man, I don't believe you. Well, fortunately for you, you don't have to believe it when a simple experiment can demonstrate it. So let's go do that right now. All right, all right. In this video, I have set up a small scale experiment to grow grass and lettuce sprouts under pure green light, total darkness, and white light. To start, I made sure the par at the plant level was very close between both lighting sources. The white LED lights are pulse width modulated so the par meter was jumping around slightly, but on average it was around 85 micromoles. Due to the low wattage and proximity of the green LED, I set the distance so as the sprouts emerged and gained height, the par they received would match that of the white light. This is why you saw a slight difference on the par meter at the soil level. As we look at the progress here, please keep in mind that this is just a proof of concept. Growing plants under a single wavelength of light, no matter the color, is going to yield a wide range of negative results. But as you can see, the plants in total darkness have no chlorophyll production, and the lettuce sprouts have only elongated and never opened. If plants did not use green light, we would see the same effect as if they were grown in total darkness. In fact, the plants under the green light have only elongated slightly, when compared to the white light, and they are growing in a similar way as if they were grown under just red light. For validity to this experiment, I used specifically a green LED and not green fluorescent lights. Non-phosphor coated monochromatic LEDs such as green, blue, or red emit a pure single wavelength of light. Any other type of green colored light source actually emits other wavelengths of light that are in and outside the green parts of the spectrum. The LED I used was purchased from Amazon and is intended to be used in grow environments where it's necessary to tend to plants while not disturbing the night cycle. To make this possible, the light emits a wavelength that is least used by the photosynthetic process in plants, which is around 525 nanometers. This is where it can be confusing to anyone looking to purchase grow lights. This graph shows the photosynthetic response in plants. You can see that virtually all colors of lights are used to aid in the growth process, but many times people see graphs like this where it appears that plants only use red and blue light. These graphs only depict peak chlorophyll absorption, in other words, the wavelengths of light that is most used by plants. Plants grow to their full potential when given every color of light, not just red and blue. And the easiest way to do this is by simply giving them what they have evolved using for millions of years, white light. This video is sponsored by QG LED, the supplier of the strip lights used for this experiment. For more information on these lights, you can visit the link in the description below. I will also be doing a full review video for these lights in the near future, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching here on Growing Answers.